Welcome back, True Seeker. It is Friday, March 11th, 2022. Two years ago today, COVID-19 locked down the world. And 20 years ago today, the tribute and light began. The two massive purple beams of light filling up the New York skyline where the World Trade Centers once stood. And, you know, even though 20-some years have passed since 9-11, we're still learning more about the ritual of that day. Rambo did a really brilliant video yesterday called Ukraine and the Secret History of the Trident, showing how important that symbol's been in Ukraine's history. Of course, we've talked about 9-11 and the Trident. Rambo gave a brilliant presentation on it a few months back. And I'm going to take his presentation, streamline it a little bit, and then add a detail that he didn't have yet. And again, I think this would be a good thing for the community to start doing. And for those of you guys who aren't making videos yet, maybe you're not comfortable putting your face on the screen. That's fine. You don't have to put your face on the screen. But I really think a great thing to do in this community to help get the word out there more about this knowledge is take a video you like, make a video saying, hey, I just watched this video and I want to add on this piece. Because so often you guys will leave a great comment. You'll say, great video, Zach. Look at what I found that adds on to it. And I'm like, brilliant. Then I talk about it the next time I do a stream. But this way, you know, it'll highlight the work. It'll bring more attention to a channel. Again, if you guys aren't subscribed to Rambo's YouTube channel, it's The Truth Codes. And again, he's doing great work. And his voice sounds better than ever because he's talking through a, an expensive microphone. And, and it sounds like a Hollywood production he has a great voice quality rambo but anyway maybe hollywood production is not the right word but anyway he just sounds really great is what i'm trying to say when you listen to him on my radio show you know you're hearing it through you know a speaker through my computer going through this microphone that's through his cell phone he sounds a lot better on his channels the point i'm making anyway I caught something I, I, after I watched this I was like okay I got to add on to it now what can I find and I and I found something big so Let's go through this. 9-11, it eventually leads to the day of May 2nd, 2011, the day that Osama bin Laden, the chief architect, is supposedly killed by SEAL Team 6. And again, be sure to check out Rambo's video on this, but I'm going to streamline it. I'm going to leave out some of the things he talked about and add on something new. So I never realized that the mission for killing Osama bin Laden was called Operation Neptune Spear. And we're in the time of Pisces, ruled by Neptune, as Rambo's taught us. Neptune is Poseidon, who carries the trident, the three-pronged fork. And again, Operation Neptune Spear to kill Osama bin Laden, who was a Pisces, ruled by Neptune. You know, his birthday, March 10th. Yesterday, I was pointing out the connection, and so was Rambo the day before, the connection with Pan Am 103, which was taken down in an act of terrorism, supposedly, and Osama being born on 10 slash 3. Remember, Osama bin Laden equals 79. From the anniversary of the Pan Am flight to Osama's birthday is 79 days later. Like Osama bin Laden 79, like Society of Jesus is 79, like Knights Templar 79. Go figure, right? I anyway. Osama's a Pisces, Pisces, Neptune, Neptune, Poseidon, Operation, Neptune, Spear, Poseidon, Spears, the Trident. You might have saw this in the movie Aquaman, which we'll even bring in here in a moment. But once again, Poseidon has the gematria of 119, also has the gematria of 38. Osama died on a date with 38 numerology and was buried at sea. Poseidon rules the sea. Remember, the World Trade Centers were built by the firm from Seattle. Magnus and Clemenkic Associates, like Boeing, is from Seattle, supposedly the planes that hit the World Trade Center. But again, Poseidon carries the spear. Poseidon 119, the World Trade Centers came down on 11 slash 9. The one thing that Rambo skipped in his presentation last night, and again, it's easy to forget something, is that from the day that Obama took office, January 20th, 2009, to the day that Osama was reportedly killed, May 2nd, 2011, was exactly a span of 119 weeks. Obama, Osama, 119 weeks on the nose, fitting in with the Poseidon Code. And, again, the three-pronged trident, 
World Trade Center's website has the article about Trident True, how the World Trade Center's paid tribute to the Trident in its architecture. Again, there's the World Trade Center's, how they wouldn't stood with all the Tridents in them. And notice Atlas is in front of the World Trade Center's as well. Atlas is Greek mythology. Poseidon's Greek mythology. The Greeks conquered by the Romans. They took on their mythology. All roads lead to Rome. The Jesuits, the Catholic Church, the rituals. By the way, Atlas equals 212 in Jewish gematria, like Manhattan's the 212 area code. But in light of that World Trade Center article being written on September 4th, 94, again, Neptune equals 94, World Trade Center equals 94. Again, they opened April 4th, 73, the 94th day of the year. The word terror has the gematria of 94 forward, 68 in reverse. Should remind you that the firm Magnuson Clemencic Associates from Seattle, the city by the sea, built the World Trade Centers. Seattle, Washington, 68 and 94. Again, 1968, when World Trade Center construction began, when 911 was made the national emergency dialing code, when George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones with a graduating class of 911 members. When the New York Jets won their only Super Bowl, their Super Bowl winning season, the 68-69 season. Again, when Boeing J debuted their jumbo jetliner in 68, also from Seattle. Keep in mind the word planet. Planet has the gematria 68-94. Astrology, the planets, you know, rituals in time. Talk about how 9-11 happened in Virgo, and again, Operation Amalgam Virgo. We'll come back to why I got Western up there. It's part of today's news headline. But um, uh, the movie Aquaman recently put out, which begins with a false flag, you know, tribute to Poseidon, tribute to the sea, Aquaman, if you haven't seen it. The beginning of the film, uh, in the film, there's supposedly seven underwater kingdoms that the people of the land don't know about. There's these people living underwater. And in the beginning, one of the underwater kingdoms is afraid of the people of the land, that they're going to find out and come kill the people underwater. So he's trying to urge the seven other, there's seven total underwater kingdoms. He's trying to urge the majority of them to attack the people of the land. And the rule of the underwater people in the film is that at least four of the kingdoms, four out of seven, the majority, have to agree to a plan for it to be initiated. And in the beginning of the film, the majority of the kingdoms, they don't agree. They don't think there's any need to attack the people of the land. So what does one of the kingdoms who wants to fight the people of the land do? He goes out and he finds some mercenaries in the people of the land. He gets them to hijack a submarine, and then he gets them to help conduct a false flag against one of the kingdoms so that they'll all unite to attack the people of the land and then they get the four out of seven kingdoms to agree. And, of course, you know, Osama bin Laden equals 47. Seattle's on the 47th parallel. It's the number of time. But just think about it. Aquaman is 68, right? A movie that begins with a false flag to start a needless war. Hmm, 9-11? <laughs> all the wars we've been in? A anyway, let's not forget all the world wars started on dates with 68 numerology, as we talked about last weekend. And now we got people in the community who are presenting my, my presentation from last week as their own and saying they're doing the greatest work in the community and to support their Patreon. And again, I, I got to be really suspicious of certain people in this community. There are a lot of agents here. And um, again, to literally clone my work and then say that you're now doing the best decode. So people need to say, it's just like, Ugh, <laughs> I just don't know about this person, man. I don't know if I can support this person. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, um, again, just the patterns, right? The patterns. So, again, here, here's the official report from April 15th. This is hilarious. April 15th, History Channel puts out this article, Why Did U.S. Forces Bury Osama Bin Laden's Body at Sea? That's the 105th day of the year, April 15th. If you write out Operation Neptune Spirit equals 105. That, that was the operation to kill Osama and bury him at sea. So on the 105th day of the year, they published this article. If you just take Neptune Spear, 
that equals 154, which is another number that connects a lot to the World Trade Center history, especially the 93 bombing, as we talked about on the anniversary. Again, Falling Down, the movie came out on the day of the 93 World Trade Center bombing, 154 days after Michael Douglas's birthday, who's the star of that film. Anyway, Operation Neptune Spear 105, Neptune Spear 154, the date can be written 15 slash 4. How perfect for History Channel to put out this article on that day. And um, notice when you run it the other way around, Operation Neptune Spears 111. Remember, September 11th, the day leaving 111 days left in the year. New York 111. Anyway, anyway, here's the part that Rambo didn't have that, that cements. It's not that there even needed to be any more proof that this was in tribute to Neptune and Poseidon. But, I mean, this, is, this puts the third prong in if you needed one more that this is what it was all about. Osama bin Laden's body was supposedly taken to sea on the USS Carl Vinson and then buried in the North Arabian Sea off this Navy vessel. And think about it. It was SEAL Team 6, which is the Navy. The Navy's the sea, right? So it's it's more sea, all of this stuff. But um, here, here's, here's what, what's amazing. Carl Vinson, who this is named after, he died at age 97. Never mind this boat launched on the Ides of March. But he died at 97, right? And notice he was born on the 322nd day of the year. 322, the number of skull and bones, the powerful secret society who had their guy in office when all this happened, Bush. Remember, 9-11 happened on the 68th day of his age. Graduated from Yale and skull and bones in 68 with the graduating class of 9-11. But Carl Vincent's born on the 322nd day of the year. And the thing is, he died at age 97, Look at Poseidon in the most simple cipher, 97, when you run it in reverse, 119. And then when you run it in reverse with numerology, 38, again, Osama died on a 38-date numerology, reportedly. And look at Carl Vinson. He was the 38th dean of the United States House of Representatives. How perfect, right? How perfect. And... um what else is funny is when you run Neptune Spear the other way, it equals 170 like sacrifice. Carl Vinson died 170 days from his upcoming birthday. Isn't it amazing how perfect they got it? <laughs> they say the uh, they say the ship, the USS Carl Vinson, weighs 102,000 tons. Remember, the other operation that sinks in with this is Operation Amalgam Virgo, the simulation of Al-Qaeda attacking the United States with cruise missiles. Remember, Amalgam Virgo equals 119, and Operation Amalgam Virgo also equals 119. September 11th is in the time of Virgo, ruled by Mercury. A metal that's mixed with Mercury is called an amalgam. So Operation Amalgam Virgo. Simulated June 1st. By the way, you know what? Hold on. June 1st. That's the day Carl Vinson died. Oh, my God. These people, man. See how they got it all planned out? They, they've chosen the right characters. They, they got the script written. It's just, it's so perfect. Mm. And I guarantee you, there's somebody who can watch this video and add on at least one new thing, maybe 10 new things that I'm not seeing yet. They, these rituals are so deep. But okay, Amalgam Virgo, as a reminder, it was exactly 102 days before 9-11. They said 9-11 was the attack that lasted 102 minutes to change America. Al-Qaeda in Jewish Gematria is 102. In Jewish Gematria, the ciphers fit in with 9-11 so well, as you can see on the screen. Al-Qaeda terrorist attack, 9-11. 102 is the number of instigating war throughout history. It's going on right now in Ukraine with the same patterns. Art of Wars 102, World Wars 102. The construction firm that built the World Trade Center's Magnus and Klemenkic Associates is 102. And, and I maintain that they built this building with the explosives inside. And after the 93 World Trade Center bombing, they put on the final touches to turn those buildings to dust the day they did. That's my theory, and I'm sticking with it. Again, Amalgam Virgo has those Jesuit numbers. Society of Jesus, 56, 79. Amalgam Virgo, 56. Osama bin Laden, 79. Osama's birthday, 10 slash 3. His birthday, 79 days after the Pan Am 103 terrorist attack. And, and by the way, you guys know how uh, uh, Rambo's always educating about Mercury, the representation, the god of transportation. Did you see what they did yesterday on 10 slash 3? 
Remember this Russian convoy 40 miles long that's been stuck there for weeks? All of a sudden, it was able to move yesterday on 10 slash 3. And notice, Mercury's 103 and 40. The headline comes out last night just before just before the NBA basketball games begin, the doubleheader. There was only two games in the NBA yesterday, the Philadelphia 76ers, biblical, and the Warriors, originally from Philadelphia in their 76th season. The 76ers lost, the Warriors won, and in both games yesterday in the NBA, the teams that came in with 40 wins stayed on 40 wins. The 76ers stayed on 40 wins. The Denver Nuggets stayed on 40 wins. One Philadelphia team lost. The original Philadelphia team won the Warriors as this convoy ready for war 40 miles long begins to move on 103. And, and, and again, you guys, all for, for the last several weeks that they've been talking about this 40-mile convoy, I can't tell you, I, I don't watch a lot of news, but I turn on news when I make lunch and when I make dinner. That's pretty much my window of watching TV because it's about all I can stomach. You know, I, I've sat here for nearly nine years and watched the news and paid attention to the news to expose what's going on in the news, but I understand I hate the news. It's not something I enjoy doing. I'm doing something for nine years straight that I do not enjoy doing. Because it's just so annoying to listen to these talking heads and sues just spew lies, just keep blabbering on about things that don't make any sense. But for weeks, there's been people t speculating about, you know, how this convoy, you know, what could have caused the snag, how it could be muddy ground, just all this endless bullshit. And that's what it is. It's nonstop bullshit. It's nothing but ritual. The 40-mile convoy begins to win on 10, move on 10 slash 3. And, you know, the, the trick is you got to run the alphabetic order in reverse, too. Mercury is also 41. Remember on 9-11, planes, transportation, supposedly crashing into the towers, blamed on Osama, born on 10 slash 3. Remember, Al-Qaeda also equals 41. 9-11 had 41 date numerology. So, again, it matters both ways. Mercury is also 86. Construction began on the World Trade Center's August 6, 68. Ends with planes flying into it supposedly i think it was really cruise missiles don't be confused by the new video footage released that's eight minutes and 46 seconds long that comes out 20 years later like the first plane hit at 846 but anyway i mean in the two ciphers that we, we were would have originally known you know when i started these were the two ciphers i knew from manly p hall's book the alphabet order the alphabet order the rules of numerology the 40 mile convoy begins moving on 10 slash 3 mercury rules transportation this is how we can see definitively that astrology is the other important piece of the knowledge. And if you guys have not read my first book, again, even though I did not know astrology that well, I, I knew enough things about astrology to see that this entire system, the calendar, the astrology, the numbers, it's all been synced up by the Jesuits in the 16th century. That's the argument I make in my first book. And as we learn more about astrology, I mean, it just becomes more and more clear. And, you know, for, for the guy out there who's who's making a bad name for himself and, and saying bad things about other people, you know who you are. You're welcome to call in to this week's Sunday night show, and you can come on. And what I'll expect from you is you to apologize about saying that astrology and people bringing in astrology is making the work look dumb. And you can also apologize for everyone else you lied about. So I'm putting that out there for that person. And um, if you can do that, you know, I'll begin promoting your work again, as long as you don't go down the path of putting down people who are doing important work. Anyway, there can be no doubt that the astrology is the other half of it. And um, anyway, Carl Vincent. How perfect. And, and and with regards to his birthday being the 322nd day of the year, the other simulation that cannot be forgotten, shout out to Young Ben. It was Young Ben who caught Operation Amalgam Virgo and Operation Pentagon Maskell, which was a simulation on the day leaving 68 days left in the year, October 24th, 2000, of a plane flying into the Pentagon. And that was exactly 322 days before September 11th. And notice Maskell has that 41. There used to be an image here. It probably says Al-Qaeda. or Oh, that's what it said. It said Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones equals 41, like George Herbert Walker Bush was the 41st president, Skull and Bones member. 
But Al-Qaeda, Maskell, and Skull and Bones are all 41. So, a- again, 322, the number of Skull and Bones, 41, the number encoded in the name. You know, from Bush's birthday each year. Uh, by the way, if you ever go to an older post and you see that the image crashed, it's because when they backed up the website, which was about a year ago now, it screwed up and it lost some of the images. I don't understand why it lost some and not others. Rambo got real annoyed because it happened to a lot of his posts. But, um, yeah, it was one of those technology glitches. Still, you can, you can figure out in most cases what was supposed to be there based on what was written. But, again, Bush's 68th day of his age. His daddy was the 11th director of the CIA. And... Um, Again, just on the day leaving 68 days left in the year, they had to do that. 322 days before. It it just goes to show how perfectly planned and coordinated it all was. Uh, Just out of curiosity, I got got to look up what the word means. Maskell, meaning. What is it? A maskell is a mass casualty incident where the number of wounded casualties exceeds the capabilities of a medical facility. Well, doesn't that make sense? Because what is Skull and Bones Skull and Bones nickname? It's the Brotherhood of Death. And you know what? I just thought about something else with their nickname and the whole Poseidon thing. Brotherhood of Death, you see how it has the ninety seven? Poseidon ninety seven, right? It also has the eighty three like murder, the one eighty seven like Holy Roman Empire, like Society of Jesus, like the homicide code, two ninety nine. Maybe there's something there with that that I don't know about yet. But um yeah, and, and if anybody wants to um, do a little more thinking, the, the only number we haven't connected to the ritual for Poseidon is 43. Uh, it could just be the jail. I'm George H.W. Bush, or not George H.W. Bush. George W. Bush was number 43. Skull and Bones is at Yale. And, and again, his father was at, um, his father was the 41st president. Skull and Bones, 41. Died on November 30th, 11 plus 30, 41. His son's birthday is July 6th. Um. And just to show you some about Skull and Bones that I don't normally talk about, again, there are numerology rules for the reduction ciphers. And if you observe all of the numerology rules that's in Skull and Bones, it also becomes 68. I, I decided to leave that. That's taught in my first book that I was just holding up the big one. I'm, I'm not going to put it in the new book, though, because the new book is really streamlined. And it's just like if I if I put that in there. If I put in there that numerology rule, that might make the skeptic say, oh, see, he has another way to decipher the words to get even more numbers. Because I, I notice now how people are. People are just looking for a reason to tune everything out, even though, I mean, you could explain to them why there are those numerology rules that make sense. I mean, it's based on the rules of numerology. But um, just know there is a 68 connection with Skull and Bones as well. So, But not everything needs to be pointed out. So, anyway, Operation Neptune Spear. And, and, and speaking of this presentation today, part, part of the reason this is a perfect presentation for today is one of the headlines today is that Russia is attacking Western Ukraine for the first time. CNN updated their headline, but for a minute ago it said Russia expand, or I forget what it said, attacks Western Ukraine for the first time. You can see down here in the subheadline it does say that. It's still down there in the subheadline. But notice, you guys, Pope Francis is 85 years old right now. Today is Pope Francis' 85th day of his age. On his 85th day of being 85, and we've been talking about how this whole thing is synced up with the Pope and the Superior General. It's the Jesuits behind every last one of these rituals. Skull and Bones is modeled after the Knights Templar who served the Catholic Church. Again, the Templar cross and the Jesuit logo. But Western has that gematria of 85. The attack moves to the western part of the country on the 85th day of Pope Francis being 85. And don't forget the Jesuit motto, Jesus Omnum Salvatore is 85 and pope francis um you know the next guy in command is arturo sosa the superior general of the jesuits from his birthday to today them attacking the west remember when al-qaeda attacked the west on 9-11 look out from arturo sosa's birthday to today's 119 days 119 days and um you know, Rambo caught this headline and showed it to us the other week. What to know as Russia attacks Ukraine with three-pronged assault? 
And remember, the trident is an old symbol of Ukraine. I think I forgot to put that post up here. But Rambo shows it in his thing if you want to check out the Truth Codes video on it. Um, the coat of arms for Ukraine is the trident. So now 119 days after the Superior General's birthday, now they're getting into the West, right? Again, Osama attacks the West on 9-11. Yesterday was Osama's birthday, right? Yesterday, you could argue, was the Superior General's 119th day of his age, but today is 119 days after the birthday. And um, by, by the way, also with regards to the, uh, the military operations beginning on February 24th, this February revolution is crucial. On March 11th in history, in 1917, the February revolution got really bloody. But understand, at the time of that, in 1917, Russia was still observing the Julian calendar. So the February revolution began March 8th on the Gregorian calendar. That's the day the CIA director came out and said it's going to get deadly over the next few weeks, which goes through all these key dates like we talked about. Through 322, Ides of March, Pope becoming the first Jesuit Pope anniversary, March 13th, St. Ignatius of Loyola Day, March 12th, today, March 11th. Anyway, this February revolution began March 8th, but on the Julian calendar, that was February 24th. And now the military operation, this new kind of revolution, rebuilding the Soviet Union that dissolved in 91, right as Gorbachev turns 91. But again, just look at the same date. The February revolution was February 24th on the Julian calendar. Now the military operation begins 105 years later, on February 24th on the Gregorian calendar. And remember, the Jesuits are the Order of Illuminati. That's what they renamed themselves when they established their order with Adam Weishaupt. We know the military operation began in the Donbass region, which was 201, like there were two World Trade Centers, then there was zero, then there was one. Remember the 93 World Trade Center bombing? But Order of Illuminati, it's got that 105 as well. It's the 105-year anniversary of this. Now all these clear parallels to this. And with regards to the 258, that's the number of the beast, like New York with its 666 connections. Remember um, last year, on October 5th, 105, Forbes published that Jeff Bezos was the richest man in the world worth $201 billion as of his 9-3 September 3rd valuation. Uh, again, the way they bring these numbers together. And, and now Amazon just had the 20 to 1 stock split 56 days after his birthday, just like Google did with Sundar Pashai, the 201 Jesuit company. All these big tech companies, all Jesuit, all censoring the truth, all burying videos like this, deleting videos like this, deleting all the crucial information that used to be on the internet about 9 11. That's why it's important for people to continue to make content about 9 11 because so much of the good, important information has been scrubbed. You, it, you, you know, 10 years ago, it was so easy to find. You could just do a quick search on, on YouTube. Fox News commentator building through plane 9-11. That search would bring up 50 videos of, of the Fox News guy going, Oh my God, we just saw the plane fly all the way through the building. And again, that's impossible. How does a fiberglass plane fly through a steel and concrete structure and come out the other side as the footage showed on 9-11? And then it cut to black. Again, it's because it was missiles, you guys. It was missiles they shot through those buildings and special effects over the top to make you think it was planes. Supposedly Family Guy created got off at the last second. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I'm sure. And uh, shout out to uh, Miami boy. I, I saw he, he put a post in here fast after I posted this. He said, look into a Barbara Olson, CNN news person who was supposedly on flight 77 that supposedly hit the 77 foot tall Pentagon where construction began on September 11th, 41. Again, the Pentagon on the 77th Meridian West. Uh, the act that con created the CIA equals 77, United States 77, September 11th, 77, World Trade Center 77, the huge 77 ritual. But um, she said that. Uh, well, he, next time you leave a comment, can you make it a little bit better? Was married with an employee of Georgie. His birthday is 9-11. Like who? All you had to write was a few more words to say who that person is. Again, you guys, communication is so crucial. If you don't communicate clearly, you're almost wasting your time. 
Uh, I'm aware of Barbara Olson. I'm not aware of who she's married to who's born on 9-11, and you didn't write that down. He wrote, I assume an employee of Georgie means George W. Bush, but let's communicate clearly so we can be understood. And, um, yeah, again, Rambo at the Truth Codes. Make sure you're following his channel. If you missed uh, the Mass Sophia rollout announced on 9-11, that factors in with what I wrote about in my last book, The Singularity, and how all of these agendas factor in with technology replacing man and, and what they're doing, building this electronic surveillance state around us, you know, making human beings less relevant. Of course, they announced the mass production of Sophie on 9-11. If, if you missed Rambo's video on that, check it out. If you missed my video following up on what he had, check it out. But uh, be sure you're subscribed to the Truth Codes and, and supporting everyone else in the community who's doing the great work. You know, Kayla Decode Talker, doing great work. Make sure you're subscribed to Kayla. Apparently, I'm not subscribed on my new channel, Gematria Effect News 25, but now I am. Chigozi Truth, you know, doing great work. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, Dan Barrett, you know, always very interesting decodes. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, there's a ton of people doing great w work who, who I need to go through. But, again, you know the people who are in the community, who are in the notes, who are contributing. Let's see. Atachi's an upcoming um, decoder. Let's see if he's figured out how to use OBS yet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I don't know why you're having so much trouble figuring out how to use OBS, my man. Um, but, anyway, he, he's doing good work. When he figures out OBS, it'll be a lot better. And, yeah, uh, there's plenty of other people in the community doing the good work. So, pay attention who's in the chat. And, um, of course, Mr. Futures. Mr. Futures, who joined us last week. Again, I'm not subscribed to anybody because it's a brand new channel. But, um, Mr. Futures killing it right now with basketball. I'm assuming he had a good 35 Thursday yesterday as well. Don't forget to touch the NHL. That 35 Thursday hits there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll keep it short and sweet. Got to get back on the grind. And, yep, there is one more thing to tuck in the book. I had Operation Amalgam Virgo, but there's no way I'm leaving out Operation Neptune Spear. This makes more sense by the day. So, um. Oh, Bali go backwards, of course. Bali go backwards. Hold on. I'm still waking up here. Bali go backwards definitely needs a shout. The man who's taking the golf decoding to the next level. If you like a good accent. He taught me last week that uh, Ireland's not part of the UK. Next week, I'll have to ask him why not. <laughs> and I thought it was. Anyway. Ireland's maintaining their independence. I'm pretty sure they really are. Just like how we're part of the UK, I'm pretty sure the whole world's pretty much part of the United Kingdom. So, Coming up on the anniversary of Scottie Pippen's son's death on the first day of Taurus, the bull. Again, I don't know how we can be denying the astrology part of the research. Just gives more in-depth clarity. So, Um... Atachi says, can he call in? Yeah, hold on. Just call me on my number. Real, call me on my real phone number. I'll stand by for Atachi's call real quick. Yeah, Bali says, no, we're not. I, I know that you're not officially, since you told us, but I'm just saying, I, I really think the whole world's really under the uh, umbrella of the United Kingdom. So. Uh-oh. Alec Baldwin gives his most detailed account yet of fatally shooting the Ukrainian cinematographer. Hmm. Hmm. Remember, that was 201 days after his birthday on the 93rd day of the year. Okay, what's up? Uh, what, what, why can you not figure out OBS? No, no I can. It's just, uh, man, I, I'm tired after work. I don't want to, like, you know, download the application and then do that. But um, It takes you know, one I'll, second. I'll it on literally it. takes, like, one second to download OBS. It's small. Okay, yeah. No, I'm on it this weekend. You'll definitely see me streaming by Monday on it. Just been uh, a lot of shit at work. You know, the Matrix has me caught up. But, okay. Um, I'm telling yeah. you, it won't take – once you set it up, it's set up. But, but what's, what's on your mind okay. today? 
Um, yeah, man, I just wanted to talk about yesterday and how it was Osama bin Laden's birthday. And, um, you know, me and Bali, Bali does great work. We're looking at the, the Nets game. And uh, I was texting you a few things, but, um, you know, it was from Osama's death to yesterday was 10 years, 10 months, and nine days. And uh, the Nets, or the 76ers, they had 119 wins versus the Nets. So, you know, it was just fitting that they oh, stayed Oh, perfect. On, on the Superior General's 119th day of his age, too. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. And then I looked at some of the scores from last year, and uh, they had two games on Osama's birthday last year. And it was, you know, Dallas, of course, George Bush's team, and the Wizards. They won with a total of, I think, 229, which just reminds of like Barack Obama, Obama, Osama. But um, yeah, I just want to call in uh, how they did that. And then, you know, today they have an interesting riddle. Uh, it'd be a big upset here. Just thought I'd say, you know, the, the Magic, if they become 8 and 23. Um, at home, they're playing the Timberwolves. That's the 143rd prime number, and uh, it's the 143rd day of the season, or or it started 143 days ago. So you know the Timberwolves, they could get their 900th all-time loss on the road. That's uh, 30 times 30. They're playing the Magic, which equals 30. Today's 11 slash three, the 30th prime, and then 900 is uh, 30 times 30. So. Just want to leave that in case anyone wants to play that game. It's the magic, so don't go crazy. But yeah. okay, very interesting. Yeah, and I see the 76ers stayed on 119 wins versus the Nets on the 119th day of the Superior General's age. It's amazing yeah. how they do it. Yeah, good one. It, it is. Uh, thanks for taking my call, Zach, and I'll work on the uh, streaming. Peace out. All right, take care. Yeah, and again, both there was only two games in the NBA. Both teams stayed on 40. And what stood out to me right before those games started is how the headline broke about the 40-mile convey began to move. And I was like, hmm. And again, all day they're talking about the 40-year inflation high, then the 40-mile convoy, and then both teams on 40 wins stay on 40 wins. Again, on 10 slash 3. And again, that's the Mercury thing, you know. So... And then again, 35 Thursday was perfect. Some people went 5-0 and last night with the picks. Saw a lot of people multiplied their money times 10. And again, you guys, I'm not trying to turn you into gamblers, but, you know, maybe instead of wasting that money on, on the large French fry or soup and sizing your fast food meal, which is really just taking years off your life, maybe save that few bucks and put it down on the, the big 35 Thursday parlay and try to turn your $5 bill into a $100 bill, you know, and then buy some blueberries. Uh, by, by the way, you guys, I, I just do want to say something about health foods. A lot of people don't buy health foods because they're small and they're expensive. But the thing is, you don't have to eat a lot of them. And even though it's small, you know, it, it, it can last a while. I, I noticed when I'm in the grocery store, almost nobody buys blueberries. The blueberry section, it's almost always stocked up unless they go way on sale. When they're on sale, you see it's just cleared out. There's like no blueberries left. But most people don't buy blueberries from what I've observed unless they go on sale. And again, a, a pound, to make a point, a pound of blueberries not on sale, organic, is usually around $8 a pound. Sometimes it's more. If they're the GMO kind for a pound, it's usually a dollar or two less. And the, the thing is, if you eat, you know, a handful of blueberries, and in a, a pound, I mean, that's probably like 10 handfuls before the whole box is gone. But if you eat a handful of blueberries, there's a ton of antioxidants in that. And antioxidants are what clean out the bad stuff in your system. They're what keep you from aging. They're what fight disease and illness and cancer. And again, that phrase, make food your medicine. So even if it is $8, essentially look at that as 10 days of – and you can eat more too. I mean it might just last you four days. It depends on how many you eat. But again, just eating a handful of those each day is really good for you. And you could make it last – you know, eight to 10 days. And then you're spending a dollar to 80 cents per day to make food your medicine. And plus it tastes good too. I mean, it tastes good. It's rewarding for your body. And, you know, can you take $8 out of your budget, your food budget o over the course of the, see, that's the thing I see at the grocery store. Nobody's buying blueberries, right? But everyone's stocking up on chips and soda. And I'm thinking, man, these people don't need chips and soda. Those are things that add to illness. Those are things that take years off your life. Those are the things that make you look older. People are stocking up on those things because they get this big abundance for cheap, so they feel like they're getting value. 
but but it's not. And, and again, you guys, I mean, that, that's why our government subsidizes the foods that they do. And they, they don't subsidize health foods, but they subsidize junk food. And realize, ultimately, at the end of the day, this is a way of controlling population, making sure people don't reach the pinnacle of their life, making sure at the end of their life they're in the hospital on all these meds, racking up big profits for the hospitals, the, the pharmaceutical companies, the insurance companies, the big Ponzi scheme that is. And, um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to start doing every uh, Gematria decode video, end it with a way to substitute in another health food that almost nobody buys because it's too expensive. But, yeah, if you're one of those people that don't buy blueberries, blueberries are – and another way to get blueberries and make them healthy is you... – by the way, if it says wild blueberries on there, those have more antioxidants and nutrients. They usually cost a little bit more, but they're worth it. They're packed with like twice as many nutrients as, as the regular blueberries. But I was going to say the the, uh, the more affordable way to get things like blueberries is um, in the frozen food aisle. And, and eating frozen fruits, not bad for you because normally they're picked at pinnacle season. They're frozen right away. It preserves the nutrients. And, you know, instead of getting a pound for $8, you can probably get two pounds of wild organic blueberries for around $10, $5 a pound. And... Um, uh, again, uh, a great way to eat blueberries. Here, here's 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 how uh, something I eat almost every day. Sweet lady thinks oatmeal is bad, but I maintain that oatmeal is good. Anyway, just a, a little bowl of oatmeal. The way I cook my oatmeal is simple. I, I get a hot pot of boiling water. I just have the oats. I don't get the ready oats. I get the old-fashioned regular oats, not the minute oats. I just put them in a bowl. When the water's boiling, I just dump in the water. And, you know, let it sit there for three minutes. It's usually soft enough to where I like it. And then I just throw some blueberries in. And if you throw in frozen blueberries, it'll cool it down right away. And then it's a good temperature to eat. But, um, yeah, you guys, eat well, especially in these times. Blueberries, um, you know, reduce blue blood pressure, all sorts of antioxidants, um, less chance of heart disease, uh, all the things you want. I just noticed every time I go to the grocery store, the blueberries are like stocked to the roof. And I'm like, do they just end up throwing away all the blueberries? Nobody even buys them. They're too expensive. But they're too expensive only if you look at it that way. You know, instead of wasting the money on the soda and the junk food and the cookies and the chips. Another food that's terrible for you for the most part is yogurt. The reason yogurt's so bad is because there's so much sugar put in it. Like um, there's some brands of sugar that or some brands of yogurt that don't have a lot of sugar in it. But like Yoplait, never buy Yoplait. There's so much sugar in their yogurt. But make sure you're reading the label and seeing how many grams of sugar are um, in things. But that's I, I see people always stock up on yogurt, and they do say yogurt's a health food. Well, sort of, unless it has all that sugar in it. But um, yeah, buy things that are healthy, even if they are expensive. And you know what? Eat less. Just look at it as like, okay, I'm gonna budget this. I'm, I'm gonna buy this. Eight dollar one pound of blueberries, and I'm gonna section it into eight things and make sure it lasts for the next eight days. And then I'm gonna buy another one. I mean, these are the kind of foods you want to have in your diet every day because they clean your body. So that, that's just on my mind because I, I just realized every time I go to the grocery store, man, the blueberries are all stocked unless they're on sale, and then they're like all gone. So I know people like blueberries; they just don't want to spend the money on them, but they'll spend money all day. On junk food. Look at all the potato chips I got for $8. Look at all these Cheez-Its. Again, those things might taste good in your mouth, but they're taking years off your life. Again, there's two types of foods. There's foods that reverse aging, and there's foods that increase aging. And most people are chowing down on the things that increase aging. Pizza, chips, soda, all of that stuff. Wrong effect. So... Unless you're trying to exit Earth early, which in a way I, I couldn't blame you for. But um, again, think about when you exit Earth. How do you want to exit? Do you want to exit in pain with illness? Or do you want to die someday in your sleep? You know, if we all get that luxury. But I think honestly, that's the way everybody would like to die. Old and in their sleep peacefully. So, All right. All right. We'll leave it there for now. Back to the book writing. If anybody uh, catches anything new, I, I look forward to the follow-up comments. And um, until next time.